before the doctrine and covenants. We lived in heaven before we came to earth. Our heavenly Father gave us the plan of salvation. The plan of salvation helps us get ready to live in heaven again. If we obey the plan, we can live with heavenly Father after we are resurrected. Jesus lived with us in heaven. He wanted to obey heavenly Father's plan. Jesus said he would come to earth and be our savior. He would do heavenly Father's work. Satan lived with us in heaven too, but he was wicked. He would not obey Heavenly Father's plan. Heavenly Father made Satan leave heaven. Satan wants to destroy the plan of salvation. He wants to stop Heavenly Father's work. Jesus made the earth. Heavenly Father's children came to live on it. Jesus sent prophets to teach them to be righteous. Some of the people obeyed the prophets. Other people on earth would not listen to the prophets. These people obeyed Satan. They became wicked. The Old Testament tells about people who lived in Palestine long ago. Those people knew about Jesus. Righteous people had his gospel. Righteous men had the priesthood. Prophets taught the people that Jesus would come to earth. He would be their savior. The Book of Mormon tells about people who lived in America long ago. They knew about Jesus. They had his gospel. Righteous men had the priesthood. Prophets taught the people in America that Jesus would be their savior. He would visit them after he was resurrected. Jesus Christ came to live on earth. The New Testament tells about his life on earth. Jesus taught people his gospel. He taught them to obey Heavenly Father's commandments. Jesus chose 12 men to be apostles. He gave them the priesthood. He started his church. Many people loved Jesus. They were righteous and obeyed his teachings. Satan did not want people to obey Jesus. Satan tempted people and they became wicked. They would not believe in Jesus. They hated Jesus. They killed him. After three days, Jesus was resurrected. He talked with his apostles. He told them to teach the gospel to all people. Jesus also visited the righteous people in America. Then he went to heaven to be with his father. The apostles were the leaders of the church of Jesus Christ. They went to many lands. They taught people the gospel. Many people believed in Jesus and were baptized. The apostles gave righteous men the priesthood. There were many members of the true church of Jesus Christ. Satan wanted to destroy the church of Jesus Christ. He tempted people and they obeyed him. Many people stopped believing in Jesus. The wicked people killed the righteous members of the church. They killed the apostles. There were no leaders for the church. There was no one on earth to give the priesthood to men. Some people changed the teachings of the church of Jesus Christ. They changed the commandments of God. The true church that Jesus had started was gone. People started churches of their own, but none of the churches was the true church. Hundreds of years went by. There were many different churches on earth, but none of them was the true church of Jesus Christ. The members of the churches believed in Jesus Christ, but the churches did not have the true gospel. They did not have the priesthood of God. They did not have prophets or apostles. Jesus said he would come to earth again. He said his true church must be on the earth before he comes again. People must know his true gospel. Men must have the priesthood. There must be prophets and apostles. There must be revelations. Revelations come from Jesus. Revelations tell us things Jesus wants us to know. They tell us what he wants us to do. Jesus gives revelations to his prophets. The revelations are for his true church. The Doctrine and Covenants is a book of revelations. The Doctrine and Covenants tells about the true church of Jesus Christ. It tells about the priesthood. It tells about prophets and apostles. The Doctrine and Covenants tells what we must do, 
to be ready when Jesus comes again. The following presentations are about the doctrine and covenants. They tell about some of the revelations and how the true church of Jesus Christ was brought back to the earth. They also tell about some of the people who lived when the church was started. 